Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to an episode of 21 Sacraments. I finally found a name for this show. And uh, today I was just recording some stuff for Spider-Man for Venom Vlog, and I figured, you know what? I never did make the next episode of 21 Sacraments. And, uh, and it's because I've been thinking, actually, a lot more about these games that have been coming out for Silent Hill. And this episode, I know, is dedicated that we're going we're gonna to talk about the new movie, Return to Silent Hill, by Christoph Gans. And uh, I just want to say, though, real quickly, before we get into the movie discussion, that the more I think about these projects, like we don't have a lot to go off of. So that's why I haven't fully made up my mind yet. But just hearing everyone talk about the, you know, referencing Silent Hill 2 and the psychological horrors of Silent Hill 2. And that's kind of an inspiration and stuff. It's like, you know, I it's, it is making me worried about a lot of these games, but I'm still interested in F, Silent Hill F, because because it's a different setting. It's Japan. It's, you know, it's the evil spreading to a, a new land. And, and that, that kind of intrigues me on some level. And I don't know what kind of game it's going to be. Um, the other ones I'm starting to guess, maybe like one will be like a multiplayer online one, maybe um, based on the developers who are working on it. So we can kind of guess what it could be. But uh, but I'm not like overly blown away. I guess what I'm really shocked by or, or intrigued by is that Konami is doing all of this. You know, they're doing four Silent Hill games and a movie, which I just I thought they had given up on this franchise. So on that level, I'm happy, but I'm also worried because I'm wondering if we're going to get qu uh, quantity over quality um, or if we're going to get just a bunch of things that are kind of like Silent Hill 2. Um, so we'll see. Now, I like Silent Hill 2. It's a it's uh, it's one of my favorites. Obviously, the first four games I love. Four is probably my favorite, though. The Room is my favorite Silent Hill game. It's probably the most difficult one um, for sure, at least to me. And there's some moments that lull, but like I'm still locked in. Like I'm like, OK, I, I know this next area I got to go through is going to take a long time, but I'm still massively like enamored by the the look of it you know um even the boring prison that some people are like oh it's, it's kind of boring i'm like i don't know like walking around there i was really creeped out and some of the enemies in there uh although easy some of the easier enemies um still were uh looked cool to me like i love the the twins that point at you and stuff and i love the other little two-legged creatures that walk around in the in the prison and stuff so i don't know i i, I love this franchise but mainly the first four i, I defend sometimes homecoming because I feel like it has like one foot in the cult world of Silent Hill and one foot in the Silent Hill 2 world. And for that reason, I feel like that's what hurts it on, on a, from a, for more gamers don't like that game because I feel like it tries to do both. And then it becomes like, you know, as a, as the twin perfect says, it becomes like saw at the end, which a little bit it does. So I kind of get it. It struggles for an identity on some level. Um, but I still, there's some things in Silent Hill homecoming I defend but origins not really so much, and uh, downpour not so much, and the some of the uh, the like the real Silent Hill experience thing on PSP didn't really love so much. The play novel not so much, you know. So there, and then like book of, uh, book of memories not so much. <laughs> so there's there's been more hit, uh, misses I guess than hits with Silent Hill, but uh, but I don't know. Some so some of these I'm still I'm I'm getting nervous about because it, now it's been a while and we still haven't gotten more news on them. Um, but I guess that makes sense. They'll probably wait till next year before they start talking about them in more detail. Uh, but I just hope early in the year because I would like more to go off of before I really form, start forming some opinions. Because right now I'm just kind of like, all right, we got a lot of teases and I'm happy there's more games coming. But yeah, I, you know, but Silent Hill 2 being remade, I'm really, I don't know, I'm, not just as a game, but they're also making it the focus for the movie. And that's, interesting i don't know i don't know why i i don't like that silent hill one needs to be remade first and i know people will say oh but the the you know the the wii game uh with silent hill that one was kind of a you know shattered memories or shattered whatever it was called uh that one is more of a is is kind of like a remake of uh, silent hill one and it's like no i mean it needs a proper remake the way silent hill 2 is getting a remake i wish silent hill one was getting a video game remake and then they could say well silent hill 2 the movie we're going to make a movie based on silent hill 2 the game called Return to Silent Hill, that would have, I probably would be more excited in that way. But now that I'm getting a Silent Hill 2 remake video game, I don't know, I'm kind of like, well, I'll play that. And why do I need to see the movie? Because I'll be honest, Christoph Gans, although I love Brotherhood of the Wolf, I I don't like Silent Hill, the movie. Like I, I visually it's neat, the first half of it, but storytelling wise, it's awful. And his interpretation of the story, he's like, you know, I didn't want to do Harry Mason because I felt Harry Mason's actions and how he loved his daughter felt more motherly than fatherly 
And that's what he said in an interview. And it's one of the producers from the first movie. I think Davis Films is attached to it, which they did. They, they did the first two movies. And I think also Resident Evil, uh, maybe even the newer Resident Evil movie. So I don't have a lot of faith in this movie, to be honest with you. It's I'm intrigued that they are doing a sequel to Silent Hill called Return to Silent Hill. And it's based on the second video game. But I'm like, but why? <laughs> like, and why Christoph Gans? Like, why couldn't you get, I guess he pitched a movie to them and they said, yeah, we'll do it. But is he going to, is, is he going to interpret James properly? Is he going to interpret Maria and Mary properly? Uh, is he going to interpret, interpret anyone properly? And now we're getting, uh, you know, Pyramid Head back again, who is a character that shouldn't even have been in the first movie. So how are they going to explain his existence in the second movie, which is a story he should have been formed in uh, because he is a representation of James's, you know, wanting to punish himself for his past actions. So how is James, a representation of James and his, you know, in a monstrous form in the first movie and now it's in the second movie too. So, and it was also in Silent Hill Revelations, this, the actual second Silent Hill movie, which also was terrible. Um, so to me, I, I, I'm not excited for this movie even a little bit like uh at first when they announced it i'm like oh okay but then the more you know i thought about it for like 10 minutes and i'm like uh oh, okay and then now that we've it's been like a month or so uh even more time i'm just like no way like no absolutely no way i've been burned enough times with resident evil and i have talked about that we ended the resident evil show on here because of how many times i've got burned and because return to raccoon city was such a disappointment and because the Netflix show was such a disappointment and because Infinite Darkness was such a disappointment, it's just like Resident Evil just is striking out outside of the video games. I thought Village was fun. It was a good game, but I didn't like it as much as Seven. And I haven't played the Winter expansion with the, they did with Rose and everything. I haven't played that yet and I don't really have a major interest in it. Um, I'd rather probably just go watch as the streamers play it, like people that I know that stream it. I'd probably watch, would rather watch their playthroughs of it than play it myself. That's how kind of like meh I am on playing more Resident Evil Village. Um, but Seven, I loved a lot. So I'm hoping, and Four, they're remaking Four, and I, that's not, you know, and most people love that game, but I'm not a huge fan of Four. I like it, but I don't love it like most people do. So, you know, so I'm, I'm kind of detached from Resident Evil right now. So with Silent Hill, I was hoping with four new games coming out in a movie, there would be enough, you know, to be invested in and you know and get back into the world of silent hill and what i'm hoping is that they'll you know re-release uh silent hill one and maybe two three and four um and, and or in the other ones downpour you can't buy on xbox right now or playstation um you have to have the physical disc like you can't buy them digitally and i would love to see those games re-released on some platform digitally just so they're out there again so i could play them again and have you know content for the show because I just don't have the money to go buy some of these old systems and hook everything up and, you know, with the capture card and do all that stuff. Like it's, I just don't have the money or the time on some level to do that. But if they could just release them digitally and I could, you know, download them and play them like an hour at a time over the course of a month or two, each game, like it would be fun. And it would give me content for this show as well um, that I'm excited about. Cause I would love to replay those first four games. Um, there's even a block on uh, Silent Hill 2 collection, but I don't even want to play that one cause it's such a bad collection <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to play it it's uh it, i don't want to support that the hd collection it was terrible so um so for me with this movie though i just like i don't know i'm not i'm not pumped for this movie at, at all like and christoph gans being attached to it doesn't excite me because i thought he did such a piss poor job of interpreting the story of the first silent hill game into the first movie so i can't imagine i mean there's there's a lot of nuance in that first game and he captured none of it and so there's even more nuance on some level in the second game so again, I don't have any faith that he'll capture any of it. Will he get the look of some of it right? Sure. Past that, no. And the fact that he goes on these interviews and says, I made the greatest video game movie of all time and I've earned the respect and, and uh, trust from gamers. I'm like, no, you fucking haven't. <laughs> Sorry, but you have not, dude. You have not earned. Maybe there's some fans out there that like the first Silent Hill, but to say you earned their trust, like, I don't know, man, you, you dropped the ball big time on that first movie. And I think Rada Mitchell and everyone in that first film, they're great actors and actresses. You did a great job casting people, but ultimately, I mean, I heard that they moved, they shot that whole movie and they needed filler and they needed something, they needed a, a, a male perspective in it, I guess, was some of the feedback they got from, from some screenings. So they filmed those Sean Bean scenes and had to add them in, which is why they feel so detached from the movie. I mean, like I said, I don't have any faith that 
Christoph Gans is so talented of a filmmaker to translate another Silent Hill game. I, I just, I know right now, I don't really care about this movie being made because of how bad he interpreted Silent Hill 1. So let me know, do you think the opposite? Do you think the same? Whatever it is, let me know down below and we'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in Silent Hill. Peace.